going to lead, then eventually you're going to face change. It's inevitable. And so that's what I want to talk about today on Everyday Design as I review the book Switch by Chip and Dan Heath. It's a fave and it's all about leading change. The book uses this picture of a rider on an elephant in a jungle to illustrate our different approaches to change. And when you think about it, how do I, how can I influence where this rider and elephant go? Well, I have a couple options. I can direct the rider, or I can motivate the elephant, or I can shape the path. And the book begins by introducing three surprises about change, and each of these inform those three approaches. Then it goes on to give you three strategies for each approach. So you got three approaches and three strategies for each, so nine strategies altogether. Lots to learn, to understand, and to get to apply. So let's walk through them. The first surprise is what looks like resistance is often just a lack of clarity, and that's why we need to direct the rider with clear instructions. So what are some of our strategies for doing that? Well, the first is to find the bright spots. Where are things working really well? And then try and scale and leverage those across your organization. Second is to script the critical moves. So at those really important moments, there's clear details about what to do. And then third is to point to the destination. So there's a clear and shared understanding of where we're going and there's no ambiguity about whether we've met the goal or not. Now, motivate the elephant. What does that look like? Well, the surprise there is that what looks like laziness is often just exhaustion because self-control is a finite resource. And so what are some strategies for motivating the elephant? Well, the first one is to help find the feeling to inspire creativity by creating a crisis. The second is to shrink the change by highlighting the progress already made and giving easy action steps for the progress still remaining. Third is to grow your people so that they have confidence that they're, as they engage the difficulty of leading in change. All right, the third surprise is that a lot of times what looks like a people problem is actually a situation problem, and that's where shaping the path comes in. So what are some of our strategies there? Well, the first is to tweak the environment so that those positive behaviors, those good behaviors, are a little bit easier, and those wrong or bad behaviors are a little bit harder. The second strategy is to help build habits in people by allowing them to pre-make decisions ahead of time so that it no longer taxes their self-control reserves to make those decisions. And then third is to rally the herd. And you do that by making the positive group behavior really visible and thus inspiring others to join in that same behavior. Throughout the book, you really find a lot of stories and case studies, which helps make these concepts a lot more concrete and um, relatable. And you can kind of imagine, okay, I can see how I can take that and apply it to my situation. Let's be honest, change um, can be really challenging. It can feel overwhelming or even daunting. And this book, Switch, I think provides a helpful framework for you to both identify um, opportunities to, where you can facilitate change. and really gives you kind of a playbook for how to do it. Um, the author even provided a nice little summary chart that I'll link in the description. Um, when I was leading a big change process at work, I actually printed out this chart uh, for myself and I sent it to all of my teammates. And we reference it reg regularly to help us identify strategies that we could use and apply. I hope you've enjoyed this book review. If you liked it and want to hear more, hit subscribe. If you have other books that you want to review or anything else you want me to review, just mention in the comments. Thanks a bunch.